Hello, Your Honor. This is a case of Gibson Curse versus Rose, Robs, and Webb. Thank you. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Gibson, you have petitioned the court for the results of paternity tests for three children. You've asked the court for time alone here before testimony begins to tell the court about your brother. You say he was murdered and left behind many unanswered questions, including three women who all claim he fathered their children. Those women are here today waiting outside of the courtroom. They say, uh, for the sake of their children, they need answers. Your aunt, Miss Kearse, is also here to help honor your brother and support you as you discover the truth. Ms. Gibson, please tell the court the circumstances surrounding you coming here today. Okay. In October of 2011, uh, my father called me with a very devastating phone call. He told me that my older brother, Quadravius, had been shot. On my way to the hospital, I got a phone call from my younger sister, and she told me that he didn't make it. She told me that he had died. Um, so before I could get to the hospital, he was already gone. So, I'm sorry. Um, Take your time. Throughout the years, these women have just been popping up out of the woodworks, saying that my brother fathered their children. So, I'm here today to get the truth. I'm here to get the answers on whether or not these children belong to my brother. I feel like Beautiful. for the past three years, my life has been a circus, and I feel like I'm the ringmaster, and I'm ready to put it to an end today. Understood. Ms. Kearse, yes. you're here as well, not just to support your niece. Right. I'm here to, on a fact-finding mission for my family as well, because I want these kids to be involved, and we want them. If they're the ours, we want them. And there are three children in question by three different women. We could just say he had a lot of love. A lot of love. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that. <laughs> Jerome, can we meet these three women, please? Yes. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. Thank you for being with us today. Please state your name and tell the court why you're here. My name is Patricia Robbs. I'm, uh, I'm here on behalf of my daughter, Brianna. I'm LaVon Webb. I'm here on behalf of my daughter, DeAsia Webb. My name is Micheline Rose, and I'm here on the behalf of my daughter, Zalayla. And all three of you are here because you believe that GQ was the father of your children. Yes, yes. Your Honor. I'd like to speak to you one at a time, and I want to start with Ms. Robs. I met GQ um, about six years ago on the train. Um, you know, everything was good. We, we stayed in a rooming house together. Okay. He was constantly cheating on me. I had got fed up with it, and I decided to go out and spend the night out, and I was with my ex. Okay, so he was cheating on you, so you went out and said, I'm gonna do it too, so you cheated with your ex-boyfriend. Yes, sure okay? And, um, I say about a week later, I went to the doctor, and I found out that I was pregnant. And I told Quadravius that I was pregnant. So... Around this time, I didn't tell him that I have had an affair with someone else. Okay. So everything was everything was going good, and I had this, he had got incarcerated. So I ended up telling the, my ex that I was pregnant. And you told your ex that the baby was his? Yes, Your Honor. But previously, you had had a son together. Yes, Your Honor. And that son, you knew, acknowledged. Yes, ma'am. But the second baby, you I, didn't have a relationship with. No, ma'am. I mean, you heard her. She had an affair, so. And she also told that person that the baby was theirs. Yes, ma'am. And she named her after the ex, so. So how are we supposed so to... So you're not sure if her daughter is your brother's child at all? No, ma'am. And is this true, Ms. Robs? You named the baby after the ex? Yes, Your Honor. And you're I... emotional now. What are you feeling? You saw your baby? And I'm, I can understand where she's coming from because if I was in that same situation and I didn't know, 
I would have probably told the other one too if the other one was in jail. She needed help and she did what she had to do as a woman. And I understand that, I respect that. And like I said, with the other child, I do have a relationship with him. I pick him up on the weekends. I do birthday parties for him. He spends Christmas with me. He has his daddy's character. Yeah. He's just bubbly, you know. But a great little boy. And with this, with this child, because we're, you know, Back in a toss, we, we don't know. It's hard for me to put my heart on the line and grow So attached. when you go get his son, you leave the little girl behind, or does she come too? She's come with me once. And she cried, like, every time he leaves, she, she cries, says she wanna go with her auntie. Mm. Do you see your brother in I her? I, um, I see his mother, but I'm not going off looks. Okay. I'd like to uh, speak with Ms. Webb now. Please, you may be seated. And Ms. Webb, please step to the podium. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Please explain to the court the circumstances surrounding your child. Okay, um, well, when GQ passed away, I was his companion. I mean, we was together when he passed away. So um, you were dating him? Yes, we was When dating. he passed away? Yes. Okay. Um, me and GQ met, we was neighbors when we met. He'd come over my house, he'll spend the night, you know, play with my kids. Um, one day, my ex came over. That, that was my child's father. Also, that was one my, um, my son next to DeAsia. Okay. That was his father. He spent the night, but I told GQ he could spend the night because my um, baby father was gonna sleep with his son. Woo! And... It's complicated now. Hold on, you got to break this down for me, Ms. Webb. <laughs> so, me both. one right. of your children's fathers mm -hmm. was coming by to see... His son. His son. Uh-huh. And you said to GQ, mm -hmm. since you were dating, if you want to stay, too, just so you... Can make sure can I make sure. Home. But he said, no, nah, I trust you. Now nah, I'm going home. He didn't say that. He just said, no, nah, I'm going home. So in other words, I'm not feeling this <laughs> yes. with the <laughs> children's right. father staying overnight. He went home, but he was sitting in the street with some um, binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> some binoculars? He doubting just like we doubting. <laughs> His cousin them told me, the, one, the people who stayed next door said, he was sitting in the street all night with binoculars looking through your window. Oh, <laughs> oh, I get it. So your brother... That was just a, yeah, I'm gonna leave you alone with <laughs> him and see what you. happens. So, no, I don't want to be here, but he had in his mind, you know your brother and exactly. your nephew well. So, he had in his mind, I'm gonna yeah. see what's going right. on. Right. Now you see our doubt. Right. Okay. And, I'm and at talk some point, you end up pregnant. Well, it, I ended up pregnant once I moved in with GQ, but that's what they thought I slept with my baby daddy, so, you know. That's where the doubt came from. Yeah. yeah. That's where, it was a rumor. Um, and toss up. So in the streets, the rumor was she slept with her she baby. She slept with him. Yeah, that was the rumor. Miss Gibson, what's your relationship like with DeAsia? Um, I so really cute. don't have a relationship with her. She doesn't know me. Um, when I finally did see her about a week ago, when I looked into her eyes, the only thing I could say to her was, "I'm sorry." I'm sorry. Because you felt regret. Oh yeah. Thank you so much, Ms. Webb. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ms. Rose, would you please come up? So you are here uh, concerning your one-year-old daughter, Zalela. <laughs> I just found out about her about three weeks ago. But he's been really? dead for what happened, not one, but two three years. We didn't, GQ never told us anything about her. Nothing. Nothing. Miss Gibson, explain to me. What's, what's the story? Well, so you get a... First, she contacted my cousin on Facebook and wanted to reach out to me. At that time, I was done. I already feel like that my life is a circus. I'm done. I don't want to meet any more alleged children. I don't want to meet any more alleged baby mamas. Show me proof. And then we can go from there. Um, so I guess he told her that. I guess she saw that she wasn't getting the reaction that she wanted from me. So she contacted my aunt through Facebook. Okay. And then when she contacted you, did you respond, Ms. Kears? I, I did respond. And I was just basically telling her that 
if GQ is the baby father, she will be in the fold. I, I will reach, I will help her. <laughs> did you feel a connection with the baby? I, I can't say that I did. Feel you didn't it, but feel I just, I just, she's just a sweet little girl. So I really just wanted proof. Now, Miss Rose, I need you to explain to me. Were you in a relationship with anyone else besides GQ? Yes. During the time of conception? I was in a relationship, but when we did do it, it was like, like two weeks before. Then I went, like, I thought I was pregnant, but I wasn't. So it was me, GQ, and his brother, and me and him. It was an accident. Like we weren't, we weren't really supposed to have, you know. His brother. But when I say it was uh, all of us, we was like in a truck. We was in the truck. We was riding around, you know. Okay, you but know when he's pregnant from riding around no, in the no, truck. No, so no. I need you but to get to the park. Let's get to the park. Just get me. You with? No. Get me to the park. They, like his brother had left, went inside the McDonald's, and then it happened. You was with his brother. I mean, not sexually okay. or anything like... They were like... riding together oh. in the car and then the brother went in to get some food. That's what you're saying, right? Okay. Then a sexual encounter happened. During that time, though, you had a boyfriend. Um, so, Miss Gibson. Yes, ma'am. Come on, bring it back, Judge. Oh. Bring it back, bring it back. Yeah, come on. I'm ready. You obviously have doubts here. You... Okay, let's do it. Please. Um, I guess the boyfriend contacted me on Facebook. The boyfriend. And, yes, ma'am. The I guess the boyfriend that she was with when they accidentally slept together in the McDonald's parking lot in the van. <laughs> um, and he told me that he had no idea that there was a different po a possibility of him not being the father. So that got me feeling some type of way. So I started doing my own little research and digging on my own. Uh huh. And I found out that. Um, there could be not one, not two, not three, but four different other baby daddies. If I had their pictures right here, I could probably make so, it rain with the possibilities. Is her daughter the one you question the most in your heart? Yes, ma'am. All right, I think it's time to get all the results. Yes. I, I, it, yes. It's time. Yes. Ms. Rose, I'm gonna ask you to take a seat. Ms. Robs, please step up to the podium. And Jerome, do you have the envelopes? Nice. There you go, Your Honor. So these results relate to Brianna, two years old. In the case of Gibson and Kierce versus Rose, Robs, and Webb, DNA Diagnostics has prepared the results and they read as follows, Ms. Robs. When it comes to two-year-old Brianna, it has been determined that Mr. Gibson is her father. It's all right, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Sit down. We're gonna be okay. We got you. It's all right, baby. We got you. Ms. Robs, oh, God. what do you feel? I'm so happy. I'm happy. Oh my God. Oh my God. My baby don't have her daddy. We got you, baby. Oh, my God. It's gonna be all right. We know now. So when you know Dre goes with me, she, she goes too. with me. Oh, you hear? Do you hear them? Yes. Okay, is that what you want? Am yes. I correct? Yes. Oh, God. Would so you like to go stand with Miss Gibson while we get the other results? Please go ahead. It's all right. We got you, honey. Okay? It's all right. Now let's move on to Ms. Webb. When it comes to one year old DeAsia. It has been determined mm -hmm. that Mr. Gibson is
is her father. We got you too. Ms. Webb, how do you feel? We got you too. You want to come over to this side? Come on to this side. Come on, come on over. Come on. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> we all family. Come on over. All right. Let's go to the final result. Ms. Rose, please. In your heart, you don't believe that Zalela is your niece. I want to believe it. It's just there's so much doubt that we just don't know, so that's why we're here. Ms. Rose, when it comes to one-year-old Zalela, it has been determined that Mr. Gibson is her father. <gasps> I gotta go get her, too. I gotta get you, too. I got you, too, baby. You already know. I got you, too. Okay. Ms. Rose, please step forward. How do you feel? I knew it. Like, they didn't see stuff, but some of the stuff that he do, she do. So you so, can see. So I can see because, see, they have never been around her. But I, now that will change. Will As change. you can see, and I hope you can appreciate all of you ladies, that his family had to get the truth yeah. to be able to move forward. Losing someone you love is a hurt. When I lost my mother, some of the best advice someone gave me, they said, don't expect the hurt to go away. You just learn to live with it, That's right. right? That's right. So part of learning to live with it and being able to move forward is finding out the truth about the things you can know the truth about. We're so happy that we could give you those answers today because they're important. Thank you. Set us free. Thank you. Court is adjourned. Today, I feel like Judge Late provided us with closure. We can now start the healing process with our family and get on with our lives, and I can no longer be a ringmaster, so I'm very, very happy. After leaving paternity court today, my heart is full because my family's bigger. <laughs>